guys, I'm back. I've created the fourth CSS tutorial, the menu bar tutorial that you guys have been waiting for. Again, I'm sorry, things have been crazy. I'm gonna try and make a video tutorial next weekend, but it may not happen. Uh, bear with me on this one, but I am still with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Notepad. Uh, we're just gonna make it a bit smaller. Uh, so it will fit more uh, easily into the screen. We're gonna shift it up a bit. And uh, we're gonna create our first HTML document. Uh, now, if you don't understand this, click the annotation in the top right-hand corner to go to one of my HTML tutorials. Um, okay, so we're creating a title. Put anything you want in the title. Then we're gonna link it to the style sheet. So link rel equals style sheet and href equals style.css and we can change style.css to anything you want so this in this case we're going to change it to menu because we're creating a menu bar but you can you can do blah.css whatever you want then we're going to close the head open the body um, and straight away we're going to close the body um, <coughs> and then we're going to close the html because at this point we're not going to write anything we're just going to save it on the desktop so file save as uh, make sure it's in the desktop or put it wherever you'd like um, and then we're going to save this as menu.html and you can save it as whatever you want.html. Press save and uh, as you can see we go to the desktop and there you go you can see it. Now it will open up as a default in our default internet browser which is Google Chrome. As you can see it's got the title but it's got nothing in there because we've written nothing inside it yet. Um, and now if it doesn't open an internet browser right away right click on the file and click open with Internet Explorer or whatever you want. To create a new uh, notepad document now and this is going to be our CSS. So we're going to shift this into place um, and we're going to start writing the CSS. So we're going to start with the body, uh, open up the body, um, and font family. Um, we're going to do Century Gothic, and if this isn't available, we're going to do Arial, um, which means that you know Arial is a very common one. Century Gothic is fairly common as well, but if it's not available, it's going to use Arial uh, for ev all the text inside the body. So all the text in our document. Background color, and we're going to do a light grey, so six C's. CCC, CCC, which is a very light grey. Um, then we're going to do margin, zero auto, which places everything in the centre of the screen, uh, in centrally aligned rather. Um, text align again, centre. Um, and then we're going to close the body and we are going to open a custom one. So we're going to do dot menu um, and we're going to do width. <coughs> The width of this is going to be uh, 700 pixels. 700 pixels is a nice size for a menu bar. Background color for the menu is going to be a a. Um, it could be anything you want. So we're going to try this out. We're going to add a hash at the beginning. So 80, uh, uh, whatever you want, basically. Font size we're going to do 16 pixels. Uh, font weight bold. Um, now we're going to close. Oh no, we're not. Sorry, we're going to uh, we're going to create a border now. So one pixel border. We're going to make it solid border. Um, so it's solid around the whole outside of the menu object, and we're going to do a dark gray, a darker gray for the border. Um, so file, save, save to the desktop, and we're going to save this as menu.css. Remember what we said in the HTML was menu.css. So we can see it now. It'll open up in Dreamweaver if we want, but that doesn't matter because we're opening up a Notepad. Um, now we're going to go back to the menu and we're going to create the custom tag. So we're going to do div class equals menu because that's the CSS, the custom CSS we created. We're going to close it straight away, file save, and we're going to open up menu.html. And as you can see, we've got a bar, um, but there's nothing in it, so it's a very thin bar because it's got our border, a dark grey border. Um, so now we're going to put some stuff inside it. But as you can see, it wasn't aligned in the center either. So in the menu, we're going to make this quickly. Uh, we're going to fix it, so we're going to make a height on it actually first. We're going to do height 40 pixels, and we're going to do margin 0 auto, um, and that'll and then text align again, uh, center. So that'll put the menu bar in the center. So file, save, menu, open it up, and as you can see, we've now got it in the center uh, with the blue background and a dark gray border. But as you can see, there's no spacing at the top. Um, so we're going to add a bit of spacing to make it look a bit nicer. So in the menu, again, we're going to add a new tag, um, well, we're going to actually edit margin, so we're going to do 0 auto 10px auto. Um, 0 px auto 10px auto, and 10 pixels means there's 10 pixels padding at the bottom, and if we change the top one, we're going to make that 10 as well. So file, save, refresh, and there's 10 pixels of margin at the top, and 10 pixels of margin at the bottom of the menu bar as well. So we can create as many pixels as you want, so we can update that or whatever. Um, to uh, 
and we're gonna we're gonna create a title now as well. We're gonna just put welcome above the menu bar. Um, and again, we can do a div class for this. So div class equals heading or head simply, um, and close it div. Um, and we're going to call it header um, because head is actually a default um, in the HTML. Um, so we've now got a welcome. Um, and in the menu bar, we can create some uh, links now. So we're going to do home and mid dot, which creates a mid dot, middle dot um, about. And you can add whatever text you want. Mid dot is simply to separate the wording. Um, home about videos and mid dot. Um, any any link you want, any text you want to appear in the menu bar. So maybe contact, so a contact page, whatever you want. Feel free to um, add in as many or as little as you want. Um, and uh, after this, um, we're gonna just um, so we're gonna add links. Sorry as well, and literally anything you want. So file save, press refresh, and you can see we've now got a header and we've got the menu. But obviously you click them and it doesn't link to anything. Um, so the menu bar looks okay. It's starting to kind of form basically it's starting to starting to look a bit more stylish but we're gonna we're gonna shift it uh, we're gonna make it more space so word space uh, 20 pixels file save refresh um, and uh, oh sorry word spacing um, file save refresh and as you can see there's 20 pixels between every word and every mid dot as well um, so that's spread out the menu bar made it look a bit nicer um, we can maybe change it to 30 to spread it out even more, make it look kind of make it fit into place even more. So that's nice. Um, but as you can see, there is no padding um, below um, inside the menu bar, so it's right at the top. So we're going to do padding 10 pixels. Um, we can get rid of the height now, so file save. So as you can see, there's 10 pixels of padding around the top and the bottom um, of the menu bar to give it a bit more style and make it stylish. So so make it a bit more spaced out and a bit nicer. We're going to now create the header uh, CSS. So header, font size, uh, we're going to make this fairly big, so 22 pixels. Uh, color, anything you want. Again, hash, I'm going to do a dark gray, almost a black, so 444, 444. Um, width, we're going to do 720 pixels. This isn't really, the width isn't that relevant, but text align, we're going to put left. Um, margin. Uh, 10 pixels auto, 10, zero, uh, 2 pixels auto. So that means there's 10 pixels at the top um, and 2 pixels at the bottom. File, save, refresh, and as you can see it's now on the left hand side, it's looking a bit nicer, um, it's a bit bigger, um, and it's nicely spaced out. Um, we're going to change it to 32 pixels and perhaps have uh, no, no spacing at the bottom. So file, save, Refresh. So there you go. That's a lot nicer, um, a lot bigger, and it just kind of fits in and blends well. So you, again, you can add any text you want there. So welcome to my site, or whatever the name of the site is. Press refresh. You know, you can really play around with it, make it look nice. Um, but now, obviously, we're going to add links to the menu bar, so it actually does some stuff. So we're going to go back to the HTML document. We're going to add ahref equals index or menu dot html. Um, close that after home. Um, then we're going to do uh, about uh, .html. If you don't understand, again, what I'm talking about, click the annotation in the top right-hand corner, and this will teach you about um, HTML links and HTML basic uh, introductions. Uh, but again, h href, uh, ahref, and and now this time we're going to do HTTP uh, colon uh, forward slash forward slash Google dot com. Um, and that will link to an external site. So file, save, refresh, and as you can see, these three are linked. So if we click on the home page, it takes us back to menu, about, obviously we haven't created an about page, so it doesn't link us anywhere. And if we were to click videos, it would take us straight to Google, um, which is an external link. Um, so these three have got links, obviously, and you can add links to the rest of them for now. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is to speed up the tutorial. So we're going to do menu space A, which is styling for the link basically. And we're going to do the color for this. We're going to make it the same color as everything else. So we're going to do color, uh, color again. You can do whatever you want here, but the color I'm going to choose is um, again anything you want. I'm going to make it a white. I think white will look quite nice. So that's six Fs. Uh, text decoration. Um, None, and because it's a link, it'll automatically put a uh, 
a line underneath it, but we want to remove that. So refresh, and as you can see, they've now they're now white and they've got no text decoration, so nothing underneath. But the links still go to the same places. So videos, home, and about. Um, but links and contact I haven't added a link in, as I said. Um, I haven't link, added a link in yet. But we're going to do some hover uh, style in a minute. But first of all, we're going to change it. So the background color of these links is going to be uh, it's going to be a black. Um, and then the padding around the link, we're going to have 10 pixels. So we're going to okay, file, save, refresh. And as you can see, there's now 10 p uh, pixels of padding. And we've got a back black background color. Um, but I'm going to remove this for now. And I'm going to make it actually in the hover. So menu A colon hover. Um, and then I'm going to paste that in there. File, save, refresh. And as you can see, when you mouse over it, you've now got the background color of black and it kind of hovers over nicely um, with a black background and the 10 pixels padding, which I think is really nice effect uh, for a menu bar. Um, and you can again change this to whatever you'd like. So if we change the color now when it hovers over, so the color we could change this to now 0, 0, uh, 40, uh, A, B. Um, see what color that is. So file, save, refresh. And as you can see, it's now a blue, which, is, which works quite well. Um, you know, but play around with colours, see which one works best, um, and uh, have a good time creating your menu bar, which you can add to your document. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, favourite, and of course, subscribe for more video tutorials coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.